Rupa Goswami, he entered into the heart of Ch- uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he came out with what? Unat Ujvala Ras. He said, Ah, oh, I know. This is the Manobishtam. This is the desired object. This is the thing that you have in your mind which you want to give. So this was never given before by any other Vaishnavacharyas you know, for thousands and thousands of years. But then someone might say, Wait a minute, I have a question here. How is it that in this shloka, Adi 1 4, on Arpitachim Jayat, Rupa Goswami is saying that this prema has never been given before? Because we see that in Treta Yuga there were devotees like the Dandakranya sages who saw Ram. And then there are also the uh, Shrutis, the personified Vedas, and so many others in Treta Yuga and in previous Yugas, because here it says, Anarpita Charim, never given before. Charim means before. But we say, I have a question. This Prema was given before. This Prema was given before because in Treta Yuga, the Dandakrani sages, they were blessed by Ram. And Ram blessed them. Yes, you come in Dwapar Yuga, and when I appear as Krishna, I will give you Prema. I will give you Braja Prem, Gopi Prem. So the Dandakranya sages, they were living before. They did not meet Lord Chaitanya. They met Lord Ram, but he blessed them. And then they came into Dwapar Yuga, and Krishna is not Lord Chaitanya. And they got Gopi Bhav, Madhurya Ras, and the Shrutis also. So now the question is then, is Rupa Goswami, what is, what's going on here? If, if in fact before, in previous Yugas, even just a few thousand years ago, before Lord Chaitanya came, Krishna gave Braja Ras, Braja Prem. How can Rupa Goswami say in this verse, Anarpita Chiram Jarat, that it was never before given except when Lord Chaitanya appeared? Because what he's talking about is not just Madhurya Prem or the love of the Sakis for Krishna or the love of Radharani for Krishna, which the Dandakranya sages, they got this type of Saki Bhav. But Rupa Goswami is saying there's a special type of prema, braja prema, that Lord Chaitanya came to give. And this unat ujvala ras, is swabhakti priyam. This is his swabhakti. Swabhakti means his own devotion, his own bhakti. So when we say swabhakti, that means Krishna bhakti. But what is Krishna bhakti? Krishna bhakti means rada bhakti. Because the personification of Krishna's devotion, the embodiment of Krishna's love or the embodiment of Krishna's devotion is prema rupa, the prema swayam rupa. Prema Mahi Srimati Radharani. She is the embodiment. She is, when we say Swabhakti Priyam, that this verse says in 1 4, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, came to give Unat Ujvala Rasa Swabhakti Priyam. He's come to give his own devotion. This means he has come to give that special love that is exchanged between Radharani and the gopis. This is known as the service of Radharani or Radhadasyam. And Swabhakti Priyam. So what is this? What is Priya? Priya means, it means something, it means treasure. It's translated here, Priya means treasure, the great wealth of his own bhakti. But it also means beautiful. So what is, what is, what is beautiful? It's beautiful to see Krishna and Vrindavan with his Brijvasi devotees. There's no more beautiful form of Krishna. He's Rupa Madhurya. And there's no more sweeter form of Krishna than his playing his flute. He's Vena Madhurya. He's Leela Madhurya, Prema Madhurya. His associates are the sweetest, the most intimate in Vrindavan. So this is the beauty of Krishna surrounded by Radharani Nasakis. But Subhakti Priyam means another kind of special beauty. That the beauty that when Radharani is with her Sakis, and it's, there's a special kind of Saki. Because Priya, Priyam also means Priya Saki or the dear most devotees of Srimati Radharani. She has five different types of Sakis. And one type of Saki is called Prana Saki or Nitya Saki. The Pranasakis or Nityasakis, like Rupa Goswami or Rupa Manjari. They are the Manjaris. So what is most beautiful, Sobhakti Priyam, that beautiful, special flavor and rasa that Lord Chaitanya wanted to give is this Madhurya Ras. In the mood of serving Radharani, it's called Manjari Bhav. Mbhavala Surati. Mbhavala Surati. So when Krishna is with Radharani or the other gopis, they're very beautiful and they're exchanging so many beautiful um, words and sweet pastimes together, exchanges of love and so many pastimes. But that beauty is enhanced or it's increased by the presence of thousands and thousands of sakis. In fact, their love cannot be tasted or experienced without the, the uh, you can say, association and service of all those different sakis. They increase it. So 
and what's also happening there is when all those Sakis are there, there's all Radharani's Manjaris, her Priya, her Priya Sakis. And they're also serving Radharani. And they're helping, and they're serving Radharani by bringing Krishna to Radharani and they're pleasing her in so many ways. And when Krishna and Radharani are enjoying, they also experience that topmost ras. So in this verse, it explains that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came to taste Unat Uthala Rasa and also came to preach this Unat, Unat Uthala Rasa. This Uthala Rasa, Subhakti Priyam. This sweet, loving exchange that happens between Radha and Krishna and the gopis and especially the exchange of love between Radharani and her mandaris, how much sweetness they experience. So this he also came to show by his avatar. So then uh, Rupa Goswami, he, uh, explain, he's explaining this in this verse, that this is the, uh, the special kind of secret prem, because in previous ages, Gopi prem was there, the Dandakaranya sages, but the, this Mandri prem was never ever given. This was only given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this mood of serving Radharani, Radhadasyam. So of course this is a very high, high attainment, and this is very, it's very difficult to understand this, these higher uh, forms of devotional service or uh, loving exchange with Krishna. This is the Manushanam Sahasra issue. It's very, thousands of mon- people try to understand, they can't understand. So how do, what do we do? What is our recourse? So our recourse is to pray. We pray to Rupa Goswami and we pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 